Hello Ninbas, what is going on? My name is Shadow of Resho Gaming and I am here today to bring you the new community choice. Last week we asked you guys what your favorite mode is in Smash Bros. 4 and I was quite surprised by the votes actually. It was actually kind of a close race up until the end. So let's just get right to number 5. Coming in with 5% of the votes, we have Smash Tour. Smash Tour is a Mario Party-esque board style game where you go around the board trying to collect collectibles and fighters and eventually you'll meet up and fight each other and do a few rounds of Smash just to get more power-ups and fighters and eventually it all leads up to one final battle and the more fighters you have, the better you'll end up doing. It's a timed-based match, so that means the more fighters you have, the better your chances are to get more kills. I personally really like Smash Tour. It has that same feel of Mario Party, and it's really fun if you get your friends to play it with you, just because it's it has that same feel of friendship ruining as Mario Party does. I was kind of sad not to see it do too well, but it's still pretty cool to see it coming in at number 5. And taking a big jump from number 5, we have number 4, Online Mode, with 16% of the votes. Online Mode is awesome, it is a much better addition than Smash Bros. Brawl. Of course, there's still spectating where you can bet, and then there's Conquest Mode where you can see, like, who's the most popular fighter out of, like, two or three fighters. Of course, you can also play online with your friends, and it's pretty cool because there's a microphone in the gamepad so you can actually talk to them. Granted, the microphone does suck pretty bad. And then the main attraction of online mode, we have 4 Fun and 4 Glory. Those are both two really awesome online matches. I personally don't really play it online too much, but every time I have, it's been really fun. I actually like 4 Fun a little bit better than 4 Glory. I like having the items on. I think it adds a little bit of a random aspect to it, makes it more of a on-your-toes type of game. But 4 Glory is still pretty awesome too. It keeps track of your kill-death ratio, so you can brag your friends if you have a higher kill-death ratio than they do. Like they do to me. <laughs> anyway, coming in at number 3, with 20% of the votes, we have 8 Player Smash. 8 Player Smash just barely missed out on the number 2 spot by just a few votes. 8 Player Smash is personally my favorite mode in the entire game. And it's literally just what it sounds like. It is eight player smash. Eight players fighting at the same time. It is crazy. There is never any time to breathe. I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy, but I really like when it's just kind of like on your toes craziness. You know, kind of like me, because I'm kind of crazy at times. And coming in at number two, the only 3DS mode that is on this list, we have Smash Run with 22% of the votes. Smash Run is a great addition to Smash Brothers. I really wish it could have been on the Wii U because it, it is just phenomenal. You go around this dungeon type maze, you have about three minutes or so to power up your fighter as much as you can. There's secret rooms you can go to and events that happen to kind of like, to kind of mix up what's going on, just kind of give you like, like another on your toes feel. What is with me and toes today? Anywho, it's basically just like Air Ride City Escape. But it's Smash Brothers, so that makes it even more awesome than it already is. And finally, coming in at number one, the amount of votes this one got skyrocketed quite a bit compared to the other ones. So without further ado, coming at coming in at number one, we have Smash with 27% of the votes. Yes, classic Smash. Who could go wrong with an awesome four-player fighting items on, items off, Omega, whatever you want it to be. It's just classic Smash. And that's pretty much all you could really ask for is just four players fighting it out. All the music for every stage is really amazing. There's a ton of different fighters to choose from. What could you go wrong with classic Smash? I don't think I really need to say any more about Classic Smash. It's pretty self-explanatory. So congratulations, Smash. We all knew you were going to win. Alright, and now we're going to move on to next week's question. I'm going to be moving away from Smash Brothers probably for a little while. Going into some uncharted territories here. I pretty much play this game whenever I have my 3DS. This game sold well over a million copies. 
And yes, I am talking about Fire Emblem Awakening. And what I want to know from you guys is who is your favorite Fire Emblem Awakening character? Now the only rules for this one is the character has to be playable and they have to be from this iteration of the game. So it can't be any character that you get through DLC or Spot Pass like Marth or Roy or Ike. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the new Community Choice. Make sure to subscribe to NinBuzz if you have not already, and then make sure to subscribe to my personal channel. And don't forget to vote for your favorite Fire Emblem Awakening character, and I will see you guys next week on Community Choice.